What's up party people? My name is Daryl and today I'll be showing you 10 different ways on how you could be earning $100 a day working from home. Now I myself have used these same methods and was able to generate a business and an income from home without any help and my viewers have as well. So in this video I'll be showing you how I did it and also how my viewers are doing it as well. And we're not doing the Amazon FBA, we're not doing the drop shipping, I'm not going to sell you a course and I'm not going to drive a Lamborghini. But I'm just going to give you real practical ways, ideal ways on how you can really generate money working from home right now, right after watching this video. So if you want to know these 10 ways, let's go ahead and check them out. Now the first method on how to make money online is learning how to make websites with WordPress. Now you don't need any sort of knowledge of coding or anything like that. This is all done with drag and drop builder stuff. Very simple to use. Anybody out there can learn how to use WordPress. Now once you learn how to use WordPress, you can kind of venture off and do blogging, e-commerce websites, drop shipping. There are so many different revenues on ways you can make money online once you learn how to use WordPress. In fact, I have a tutorial right here that people literally watch this same video and start their own web design business. And myself too, back in, back in 2014, I started my first web design business and then I started building sites for people and then people wanted SEO. So I started an SEO company and later down the line, I actually switched to YouTube, but I don't regret it at all. I mean, I started a full time income working from home, making websites for people and you can do the same exact thing. Now, once you learn how to make websites for people, that's probably the easiest part. The hardest part is finding clients and I struggle with that myself. So I actually made a second video on ways on how you can find clients once you learn how to use WordPress and build websites. I'll show you how you could properly market it as well. I'm giving you all the damn tools to do everything. You just have to spend the time to watch the video. So again, I highly recommend learning how to use WordPress so you can make websites for people and then you can generate an income from home. Now, number two is affiliate marketing. And this is probably one of the most popular ways to make money where you see all those guys on YouTube saying that they drive Lamborghinis and they're super rich and you're a loser, you know? All those guys are trying to teach you by selling those courses is affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing is the act of recommending a product and then getting paid when someone buys it. And I myself, I am a full-time affiliate marketer. This is what I do. This is how I make money. And I am part of tons of affiliate programs. I'm part of... Uh, share a sale, impact, commission junction, uh, web hosting, etc. And once you actually learn how to use WordPress, you can learn to make a blog and then you can start promoting products. Like, have you ever typed in the top 10 best uh, protein shakes online or the best, uh, the top 10 best uh, dog food to buy your dog? Those are all affiliate blogs and they're trying to make affiliate income by recommending products. So you can do the exact same thing with WordPress. Again, that's why I recommend WordPress. And I'll be having a second video on programs that offer some of the highest commission rates, even like uh, christianmingle.com. The dating website industry is actually pretty big. They will pay you uh, $2 just for people signing up for free on their website. So those people don't even have to give the website money. This website will pay you just for bringing the traffic, which is uh, pretty incredible. And also the gambling industry is really big online and also the uh, investment industry. These guys pay huge, huge bucks. And I'll be making a second video talking about how you can be making super high commission rates. Once you learn how to learn WordPress, you can create a blog and I'll show you great niches on how you can start making really high affiliate incomes. Number three is selling courses online. Do you know how to do anything? Do you know how to do Photoshop? Do you know how to cook? There is a course for everything. In fact, I'm gonna go to cooking here. We're gonna, we're gonna type in cooking and seeing what we can find. And look at that, we have Indian, we have vegan. It doesn't matter what you know. You, if there's something that you know that someone else doesn't, you can make a course online. Now, right now I'm in Thailand. That's why my prices are in Thai bot, but I'm originally from Los Angeles. But if there's something that you know that you can teach people online, people are willing to pay for it. So uh, being an online instructor is a great way on how you can actually make money online. Now, I even offer my courses for free. And the reason why I do that is because I can link them back to my websites. I can link them to my emailing list. I can even provide affiliate links in my tutorials so that when people watch my videos, like, oh, I need to buy web hosting, right? So they can actually purchase web hosting with a free course so I can still generate money from it. And I can also get a following by having them come to my website. So you can do the same thing. When you first get started, make the courses for free, try to build an audience. And then later there, you can make tons of money. 
Number four, and I personally have a friend who does this, is selling eBooks on Amazon Kindle. Now, this website right here will actually let you submit your eBook and people can buy it. Now, there is a website called iWriter.com where you can literally pay someone 200 bucks and they'll write you uh, an eBook or a Kindle and you can put it on Amazon.com and you can make money off that book. In fact, I have one friend in Thailand that does that right now. This person doesn't even write these books. They have people write them for her. She puts them on Amazon Kindle and she makes the money. It's pretty incredible. And there's no reason why you can't do it. You don't have to be a writer. You don't have to know anything about uh, stories. Just give her a niche. Give them something to talk about. Like, hey, talk about this niche. Talk about that niche. Something that you're comfortable with. And then have these people write them for you. And then you can make money off those books. Super easy doesn't require anything except a little bit of cash. So this is another way on how you can make money online. Next is starting an e-commerce website. And a great place to find products is AliExpress. You can find a lot of different products to purchase really, really cheap. And then you can actually sell them on your website uh, and make money. Now I actually have a full tutorial on how to make an e-commerce website. So literally once you learn WordPress again, you can start an e-commerce website and you can buy these products like right here, a dollar for this phone case. And then you can sell them for $10 on your website. You can open up your Facebook page, promote it, etc. So this is another great way on how you can make money online. So um, check it out, you know, AliExpress or Alibaba, you can uh, import Chinese products and you can build a site that looks like this. This is my e-commerce website right here. And again, I have a full tutorial that will show you how to make a site just like this in the description below. And it's not not hard, you, you know, it's just drag and drop, it's super easy, so I really recommend to check out this tutorial. Next is being a freelancer. If you know how to do anything, if you can be a person that does graphic design, Photoshop, uh, admin support, customer service, design something, engineer, IT, legal advice, sales, marketing, translation, anything like that, you can go to upwork.com. You can also go to freelancer.com and you can also go to fiverr.com and offer services. Now, I myself have personally used Upwork. I myself have used freelancer.com. You can see here that I have a lot of different jobs that I submitted. Also Fiverr. Now Fiverr is like a small thing, but you know what? You can find gigs that are um, voiceovers. Usually Fiverr charges around $5 for gigs. However, I do have a friend and they are in Thailand right now. And this guy is from California. And now he's traveling full time in Thailand because he has a store on Fiverr and that allows him the freedom to travel. He does voiceovers. So he does a lot of um, voiceovers for commercials and for people like that. And if he can do it, you can do it. You know, that doesn't require any sort of technical skills. All the guy's doing is making voiceovers. So uh, it's a very interesting story he has. He's actually from the same city I'm from. And uh, he's actually dating someone that I know, my, a friend of a friend. So I'm kind of like, dude, like we have like almost the same story, like it's pretty incredible. But he has a full-time store on Freelancer, I'm sorry, on Fiverr. So if you know anything like that, you can offer your services on Upwork, Freelancer, and also Fiverr.com. Now this next way, I, I bet you're thinking to yourself, Daryl, I'll never be able to do this. You know, that's only for big people. No, 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 no. I'm gonna show you a way on how you can start your own YouTube channel. Now there's a lot of niches out there that don't require any skill at all. You can upload videos of sounds. You can upload videos of you typing on a keyboard, like my video right here. Back in 2016, I made a video, an ASMR video. And all I do right here is I type on this keyboard. And I type on this keyboard for about two hours. And that video has over two million views. And the reason why this has views is because people use this to sleep. So just go to YouTube and type in ASMR after this video and you're gonna see people that do all sorts of really weird stuff. But this right here, just, you know, you ever want something to listen to when you're sleeping? You know, just something. Well, this is why I made the video. In fact, this video, you know, it's, it's just proof that you don't have to show your face, you don't have to talk. You can make videos just like this and make money. It's so, it's so unfair to people who work, you know? Also, people like this right here. Now look at this video. I mean, this person's just putting a camera out and filming outside while it's raining. <laughs> I mean, that's all they're doing. And it has almost 2 million views in just a few months. You know, it's pretty crazy. So if they can do it, 
you can do it. Just get creative. Think of something and maybe you'll make money. But uh, this is a great way on how you can make money without showing your face or without talking. There's a lot of different passive ways on how to make money with YouTube besides showing your face. So again, check these videos out. Next up is starting a PPC company slash social media agency. So these agencies will actually help people with social media. They'll help them get more sales. Now, PPC is pay-per-click. So what that means is, let's say for instance, um, somebody wants to get more traffic on Google and Google ads are a very big, powerful way on how you can increase the sales on your website. You can start your own PPC agency. And if you don't know how to use PPC, like Google ads and AdWords and all that stuff, there is actually a course that I personally recommend by uh, Isaac Sedensky. Now this course, it goes on sale for around $10, but if it's not on sale, it's around 200 bucks. But again, I really recommend this course. I myself have taken this course and learned how to use Google ads. And he has other courses, you know, and there's other courses on Udemy with like Facebook ads, there's Twitter ads, there's all sorts of stuff. So what you can do is take these courses learn how to pick up a skill like Google ads or Facebook ads, and then start your own PPC company. And again, there is more than $32 billion spent every single year on Google advertising. So you know there's a market for it. So, so again, learn how to use PPC or Facebook ads, and you can open up your own digital media agency. Next up is content writing, and this is actually a pretty big one. And I myself have had my own content writer, and I paid that person around $3,000 every single month to write content for my website because you know uh, content writers are very valuable because I myself I'm a youtuber I don't have time to write on a blog article after article after article so a lot of businesses and people like myself look for content writers so you can make money being a content writer and every big website has multiple content writers elegantthemes.com they have tons of content writers um, even Elementor they have content writers Amazon.com, they have content writers. Every big website has content writers. And these people get paid pretty well, you know? So $37 an hour, $25 an hour. And it also depends on what they know. So I look for people who know WordPress, but for someone like you, maybe you're in the car industry, you know, uh, top 10 things to buy for your car or from the dating industry, uh, top 10 things to buy girls for Valentine's Day, you know, stuff like that. It, it gains interest and people want to, they want to interact and they want us to go to your website. That's why people have content writers. So being a content writer, another great way on how to make money online. And lastly, starting an SEO company. Now, when I first talked about web design, I mentioned that I had my own web design and SEO business. And that is true. I was offering SEO services in conjunction with web design. And the great part about SEO is that these people will pay you on a recurring basis because SEO has to be done on a monthly basis. So it's a great way on how to earn revenue you know, every single month. Now, if you don't know how to do SEO, do what I did. Hire a freelancer, you know, pay them like 150 a month, and then charge your clients around $300 a month. And there's no shame in doing that because I work for a company in Calabasas, California, where Justin Bieber was uh, growing up, and I worked for a company that did this same exact thing. Now, I can't mention the company's name, but they're on this list somewhere, and basically what they would do is that they were we were cold calling people, and I was calling people, and I got people to sign up for SEO packages that cost $1,000. They would outsource it to India for 300 bucks, and they would pocket $700, and I would get around 30% of that commission but I would get it recurring every single month as long as they were subscribed to the service. So SEO services, they are one of the best ways to get recurring income because let's say for example, you have 30 clients, right? And they're all paying $500 a month and you're making uh, you know, $300 of that profit. You can see how it's gonna start making you money every single month and it doesn't require any work on your end because you're outsourcing all of the work to people usually in India, and I will make a second video. Uh, I have one before, but I'll be making a second one on some of the best freelancers that I hired for my web design business. So again, starting an SEO company is a great way on how you can make more money online. Now that you watch this video, really give these methods a try and really try at least one or two of these methods and really give it an effort, you know? I myself have used those same methods. I actually started doing a web design business back in 2014. And I first started building hiking blogs for people 
And later on, people were like, hey, that's a nice website. Can you make me another website? Can you make me this website? Oh, I need SEO. So I said, yeah, I can give you SEO. And I literally started a business working from home. So you can use these same methods to make a business working from home. And then, hey, you can travel just like I am. Right now I'm in Bangkok, Thailand because I can do YouTube anywhere. But before that, you know, I was making websites for people and I could have gone anywhere I wanted as well. So you can do the same exact thing. And after three years, I dropped websites, I dropped SEO, and now I'm doing YouTube full time. Now, I have no regret doing web design. It got me to where I am today. In fact, I was actually working in law. So I was actually working in a child's courthouse handling child custody battles and paternity, and I was going to school to be a lawyer. So uh, you can kind of see how my direction changed just by simply making hiking blogs. I went from hiking blogs to lawyer to child custody to YouTube. The same thing can happen to you. You never know what's gonna happen in life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Really, really, really make sure to give the methods a try and I will see you all in the next video. And good luck guys, really, truly good luck. And see you guys later.